Hello and welcome to this Infinite Funnel Engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Mar Mountains, and today I'm gonna talk to you about how you can create your own game using the Infinite Funnel Engine and how you can build on top of what's already there. So uh, the Infinite Run Engine, it's been built with extendability in mind from the start. Of course, you can simply, you know, use the existing classes as they are, but you can also create new ones or build on what's there. So uh, in this video, I'll try to cover w a few of the ways you can add content and functionalities to create your very, your very own game. The most simple way, I think, uh, to go is to just replace visual assets with your own. Um, doing so is really pretty easy, uh, as all you have to do is to locate the file that you want to change and replace it with your creation. Uh, there's not much else to say about that, so uh, I'll give you an example of that. For example, let's say um, I have this game, it's minimal, really minimal 2D game, and I want uh, something else. I want a ball instead of that square here. So uh, all I have to do is find the prefab. Uh, it's a minimal 2D 2D jumper. If you if you don't know where to find it, well, it's you know so, somewhere in one of these folders. But uh, you can pause the game. Uh, it's called as you can see. If you select that object, it's called 2D jumper. Um, all you have to do then is, uh, if you're, you know, wherever inside uh, the hierarchy, you just uh, type the name of the prefab you're looking for here, 2D jumper, and there it is. All right. Um, once it's there, all you have to do if you want to change its look is uh, find the sprite runner. It could be also a model. It could be a lot of stuff, but it's really always Unity. So. Uh, um, Everything you will find online about Unity applies here too. Um, so here I have this sprite. Uh, it's a block. If I click on it, it will select it here in my project, and you see it's located under the most min uh, minimum and sprites. So it's this block, and uh, if I drag it into the scene, I can uh, and and you know put it somewhere I can see it. Um, it's it's the block I'm looking for. So uh, if I right click on it and show in Explorer, I'm on, on Windows right now, um, it will show me where the file lives. And if I just edit uh, that image, for example, in, in Photoshop, um, like so, so uh, let, let's say uh, oh, it's a JPEG, so I'm not going to make it a ball. Um, I'm going to make it uh, something else. Let me just grab my pen here. And um, so let's make it uh, let's make it red and uh, well, I don't know. Just do something really quick. Uh, I need to give it a bit of personality. All right. face here looking good all right so now I have a new a new character and if I want to put it in the game, all I have to do is uh, save it in the right place. Uh, so in my case, it's a uh, engine. Um, mm -hmm. well, I think it was demos, minimal sprites, and block. That's the one. So I can just uh, replace it, and if I go back to Unity and press play. You'll see that I now have my uh, my new character, and the same principle would apply if it were uh, a character based on on sprite sheets or uh, a 3D model or stuff like that. You just have to replace the source files with your own, uh, and you're good to go. Of course, the limitation of that is that uh, you won't add something new. Uh, you'll just be limited by what's already there and uh, if you're happy with what's already there that's just fine but if you want to uh, do more stuff uh, well with 
just uh, see right now how you can do that. So uh, all of the components, all of the parts of the asset have been built with lots of use cases in mind. Um, the idea is that from the same component you can usually, via the inspector, uh, tweak values and select different behaviors that in the end will make your game really stand out. Uh, so before starting to code something new, maybe uh, have a look at the existing similar classes and um, uh, if there are any and you know check out the API documentation make sure you can just get what you want via a few changes of settings so um, I'll give you an example of that if I had a 2D jumper here um, that's well, I'm not gonna drag it into the scene I'm gonna modify it directly from here um, here from its uh, jumper script there's already a lot I can change for example I only have two jumps allowed let's make it five and uh, to uh, to balance that I'm gonna add the cooldown of one second between jumps to make it a bit harder um, I'm gonna make it uh, a, a higher jump force and I'm gonna increase the gravity scale to six and uh, hmm maybe yeah that's that's fine let's see uh, how the game plays now so uh, i jump much higher than before but i i cannot jump well maybe a one second uh duration was a bit too strong so the cooldown will be 0.2 instead otherwise i won't be able to double jump but i cannot jump like uh, you know like crazy So uh, yeah, and yeah, for example, here my my character is allowed uh, to turn like that. Could be a fun, fun idea, but maybe you don't want that. So uh, if you don't want that, you'll freeze the rotation on the z-axis. And now, if somehow I try to, uh, uh, you see, my character is now uh, stable and won't rotate anymore. So uh, there's already a lot you can you can tweak from the inspector. Uh, if you're just looking for you know um, a plane that uh, goes a little bit faster and stuff like that, you know make sure uh, it's not something you're gonna tweak via the inspector first. And then of course um, maybe adding simply visuals won't be enough for you to create the game you want. Uh, sometimes all there is to do is to add new code uh, and that's completely fine again uh, the engine has been built with extendability in mind all uh, the classes have uh, vir virtual methods uh, it's really easy to extend to override stuff um, and and it's actually uh, if, if you're looking for inspiration uh, there are all the controllers uh, extend the playable character class uh, they are already examples of how you should proceed so uh, all you have to do is uh, you know uh, have a look at what's already there have a look at the documentation it goes in details over that have a look at uh, another tutorial which is called um, uh, build uh, no that uh, playable characters and um, which goes in details over how to create a new character but uh, the same goes for, for everything else uh, you want different parallax you want different uh, features, make use of inheritance, overriding, poly polymorphism, and uh, you'll be good to go. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you next time.